This is Loopline, and in this video I want to go over how to run multiple instances of Scrapebox from this, the same machine. So a lot of people don't know that you can actually run an unlimited number of instances of Scrapebox from a given machine. So you do have to have a unique license for each machine you put it on, but here on my desktop, for instance, I could run a thousand copies of Scrapebox on this one desktop machine, all running at the same time if I wanted to. Now there's lots of obvious uses for this. If you wanted to split lists up, and say post to three different lists then you could do that that way if one crashes or something happens everything isn't lost if you wanted to have one instance of scrape box scraping results from say Google another instance posting links to a blog and a third instance scraping emails from a list of URLs you already scraped you could do that if you wanted to use the automator it comes in very handy for instance you can use the automator and have build an automator job file where one instance of Scrapebox is constantly harvesting and testing proxies and exporting those to a file and then you can have another instance of Scrapebox constantly scraping and when it runs out of proxies it will read new proxies from that file that the other instance has saved so you always have fresh updated proxies that are being fed into the scraping instance from the automated instance of Scrapebox that your secondary instance is running. So how to do this is you have to store each set of files in a unique folder. So if I go in here on my Scrapebox folder here, I'm in a Scrapebox, I have an instance here that's a 64-bit, um, and I just put numbers at the end of my folders to keep things simple. So all I do is grab this and either drag it down here and copy it here or just copy and paste it. Copy it here and then it's going to copy it and now I have another one and I just like to uh, run these here and just put numbers. You can put whatever you want, call them anything you want. So once I have that, you can see that I have the one instance running here, which is the version one. If I go into number two here and start it up, it will start up and we'll see that here in just a moment. And then, so now I have an instance running down here and then one running down here as well, two different ones. I can name instances. So for instance here, I can go to options and name this instance. I can call it instance one if I wanted to, or I could go over here and name this one and call it project X, whatever you want. And then up here at the top, you see how it puts it in the title bar. So you can see when you're clicking through here and you have like 30 of them across here, what each one's doing. Another thing you can do, how I like to keep track of things is if you go to the actual folder and right click and send this to the desktop and create a shortcut, then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this scrape box 64 bit two which is what I named my folder. Now, whenever I start this up, let me just close out of it here. If you start it up from the shortcut on the desktop or if you launch it from the folder after that, whatever. If you have it pinned to the start bar, it doesn't matter. Once you launch the next go round and you have it there, I can move this anywhere I want, but if I right click on it, you'll see it comes up here and it has my name right there. If I go to this one, it has 64-bit one because I created a desktop shortcut and whatever you name the desktop shortcut, when you launch it from that, it puts that at the title bar here. If you just launch it from here, it will not pick up the name from the folder. But nonetheless, that is how you can run multiple instances of Scrapebox and this works for version 2 and version 1 and it's not a violation of the license agreement in fact Scrapebox says you can do it it's right on their website and on the fact and everything says that you're allowed to do that and I actually have servers running where you can see the entire start bar just filled up with instances of Scrapebox running all doing different sorts of things so this can be super handy especially when you combine it with the automator that lets you do all sorts of things you can have tons of different automator jobs running you can have all kinds of different things running in Scrapebox and do lots of different things at once and really take full advantage of all the different things you can do in Scrapebox by multitasking and that is how you run multiple instances of Scrapebox from the same machine